top 25 hedge fund managers. Welcome to the channel, Ethan and TV. BFAM back again, coming at you, Londonium, with some more Jews for my fellow Ethereans out there. Okay, now, BFAM was just browsing through the internet earlier on, and I came across this, this website called Tip Pranks or tipranks.com, tipranks, or tipranks.com, right? And they've given here a list of the top 25 hedge fund managers. Right, so for those people who don't know about these hedge fund managers, basically, if you're a wealthy person, um, and we all on this channel are soon to be if any of you guys ain't you will be very soon right um so some of these people who have loads of money right they give their money to these hedge fund managers who obviously manage their money for them and in return they give their clients some profit so i was just browsing through and the top return over three years out of this list is 54% people, 54%. And the lowest on this list is 31% average return over three years. That's, you know, after, I, I presume that's after fees has been taken out because obviously they're making a bit more than that, but they're giving the clients that amount of return on their money now you want me to give my money to these guys and with an average return over three years 54 percent are you kidding me i'm grown folk here and so are you guys we don't need no middleman again those days are over hedge fund we are the hedge fund as individuals and collective. We are our own hedge fund, right? We don't need these people, right? Why? Because if I go to CoinGecko and I look over the past seven days, um, I will just scroll down and see I've earned 30%. Or if, if somebody bought Ethereum over the last seven days, they've earned 30% over seven days. Dogecoin respect the dog 131 percent over seven days people the dogecoin has outperformed those hedge funds is that are you kidding me do we really need them hell no bitcoin cash 64 percent over seven days bitcoin cash is smashing out the ballpark 1400 jeez oh my days anyway that's what I'm saying, people, look, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Classic, $93 right now, over the last seven days, 181%. That's nearly 200% in less than a week, in a week. People, people, do we really need these old financial guys to, to take care of our money? Not in this new world, man. Those, those days are over, man. And I beg you, people, please, please, don't go back to those. For any of you guys that give your money to these people to manage your money, you need to rethink it. You really need to rethink what you're doing. Because, you know, come on, triple figures. And these guys are giving us double figures. I don't need no double figures. I need triple figures and beyond and so do you guys right so that was that another thing i came across just browsing through coin market cap as you do sometimes look what i came across people for all my west indian people out there my jamaicans my antiguans my grenadians my saint vincent my saint vincent's whatever island trinidad tobago it's all one it's all fam one family but here what my Ghanaians. My Nigerians, because you know we got Rastas all over the place, right? Rasta Finance, we got here now. Check this out, people. Rasta Finance has just come on to the market. 
on Binance Smart Chain. Can you believe this? You imagine me going up to a corporate, a corporate, you know, suited and booted people and telling them about Rasta Finance people. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, crypto is absolutely crazy. Now look at the trading volume. 72,000. 72, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I mean, it came out in, a, in the last 24 hours, in fact. Yeah, like yesterday, yesterday. Today is May the 5th. No, in fact, today is the 6th. And it came out on the 4th. Around, let's have a look. Around 80 cents, just under 80 cents, 70, 70 cents. And now we are moving. It's, in fact, it's more than doubled. It's more than doubled, people. So, you know, going back to these hedge funds managers, do we need them? Hmm? Look, look, 50%. <laughs> look. My Rasta Finance token has gone up 30% today. Today. Over the last 48 hours, it's gone up over 100%. We don't need them, people. We don't need them. Now, I'm not saying this Rasta Finance token is 100% legit. Or I'm not saying it is a scam. I don't know. I, I don't know whether it is a scam. I don't know whether it's legit. I haven't really looked into it. As I said, I've just browsed, came across it. And if we click on the website, right? You can buy the way you can you can buy it on Pancake Swap because it's on Binance Binance Smart Chain, right? And <laughs> check it out, check it out, check it out. Check out the graphics, people. Decentralize your existence. <laughs> Join a thousand rasters <laughs> on a journey to Zion. <laughs> look at the ras, look at the lion with a big joint in his mouth, getting high like a kite. Oh my days. That reminds me back in the day. I used to get high like a kite myself, but not anymore. Anyway, <laughs> are you sure? my days, man. Like, this is crazy, people. That's what I'm saying. Crypto is absolutely crazy big joint in this lion's mouth red gold and green binance smart chain you can farm rasta right now come back to nature child come back to nature <laughs> oh mate i tell you you gotta love crypto you have to love crypto so basically as you can see this is a a automatic money market platform right for all your people if you don't know what i mean by a M M. Just go to Cryptopedia. This is by Gemini.com. And if you don't know who Gemini is, Gemini is a cryptocurrency exchange and it's owned by the Winkle Voice twins, right? I hope I pronounced that right. The Winkle Voice twins are those guys, twins, obviously, right? That apparently they came up with the original Facebook. And um, I think Mark Zuckerberg um, stole the idea from him, apparently. And they got paid out. There, there was a film made about them. So basically, they've been in the crypto market for a good few years. They bought Bitcoin at some silly, ridiculous money. And they have their own cryptocurrency exchange. They also own Nifty Gateway, which is an NFT platform where you can go and buy NFTs on. So yeah, they're, they're big in this crypto space, people. They're big in this crypto space. So if you want to know exactly what are automated market makers, then just read, go to this and just you can catch up and read about it, what exactly it is. But to cut a long story short, basically you as a AMM platform, you are users provide liquidity to these platforms and how they do that is with crypto tokens basically that's it so you're providing assets on these platforms so these platforms can do their buys and sells so when you do that they will pay you out a certain amount for providing liquidity to the platform people now this was the problem that back in 2017 we had there were decentralized platforms like uniswap back in 2017 right there was one called before uniswap came on the scene there was one called ether delta 
man it was terrible it was absolutely terrible you put you you go on you go there it was like a, a mind it was rocket science to work out how, how to you know work it work it out right and secondly you'd place an order on the platform and it will take sometimes days for that order to get filled right because of the lack of liquidity the lack of money flowing through the, the platform but now because of AMMs, that issue has been resolved by people like myself and others providing liquidity to these platforms. So people, when people go on these platforms and they um, want to buy a particular coin or token, that order will get filled. Why? Because people like myself and others are providing those tokens on the platform. Simple as that. So that is that so if as i said i mean for those people who want to check out rasta finance go and eat your heart out go and join the community go and check out the white paper as i said i haven't dug deep into it but it's a farming platform i mean <laughs> i mean look at this guy with, with bitcoin glasses like yo man with a big joy it's crazy i mean he's farming some ganja right there you know what i mean hey it reminds me back in the day for myself personally i used to be a farmer back in the day for those people that don't know yet i used to be a farmer back in the day farming the good green stuff and it's funny now it's legal you know in a lot of places around the world especially a lot of places in america it's legal to grow weed do you know what i mean but hey that's another story anyway so you can farm alongside other rasters farming in crypto involves staking your assets for the dex a dex is a decentralized exchange which grants you liquidity pool tokens right that that then earn you rewards in rasta rasta is our community currency it invokes the willingness to collaborate for the benefit of the whole community so that's a, just a brief intro onto this platform now this is the sort of apr you can get right um major partnership partnerships new listings zion launch so it's got its own launch pad just like um uh k pad launch pad and other launch pads out there yeah so it's got its own launch pad people so this might be you know this might be something to look into you know i'm not saying to to, to put your money in this but go and have a look for those people that want to I'm gonna have I'm gonna do a more deep dive into this myself and and see what's popping with this platform and see maybe is there a way we can make some a little bit of cash from this a little bit of crypto from this Joe you know? so that is that that was just me browsing through the, through coin market cap and seeing what's new out there look at that it's gonna you know oh mate I mean it was a 180 a minute ago and that's 189 I tell you this market moves at the speed of darkness people anyway that's that. Now, I came across this bit of news for my people out there. Bitcoin will soon be available through hundreds of US banks in a partnership with crypto firm NYDIG, report says. So this is coming from market.businessinsider.com. Right, so we've got more mass adoption coming, people. I told you a few videos back about these banks right i told you they're going to be start offering cryptocurrency to the average joe out there people and they're going to be creaming some crazy profits because the average joe is not going to go down the rabbit hole like me and you no they ain't got time for that right they ain't got time for that they like banks a lot of people like banks because they're just used to banks looking after their own money anyway what is, what is it saying here? Right. So Bitcoin is coming to hundreds of banks in the US in the coming months. A CNBC reported on Wednesday. So NYDIG, a cryptocurrency firm, and Fidelity National Information Services are working together to enable banks to offer the cryptocurrency. Big things, people. Big things are happening out there. This is mass adoption coming. Banks are requesting Bitcoin because they are seeing customers sending money to cryptocurrency exchanges such as Coinbase, according to Yang Zhao, president of NYDIG. 
So banks are getting the red eye, people. They're like, <sighs> these Coinbases, these Binances, these Huobis, these Q Coins, they're making so much crazy money. We have to get a piece of this pie. That's why they're jumping in in the market, people. Because, hey, I told you, these people worship money. All right. So this is not just the banks thinking that their clients want Bitcoin. They're saying we need to do this because we see the data. I told you, people, the data is all in the data. The numbers, they're seeing how many people are gravitating towards cryptocurrency and they're seeing the amount of money that these exchanges are earning. I mean, Coinbase just went IPO. Why do you think they're earning some crazy money? So the banks are like, yeah, all right, we're going to get in on the scene too, innit? We, we, we want our piece. You can't have it all. <sighs> so that's what's happening, people. That's what's happening. People buying and selling Bitcoin have relied on apps such as Robinhood, payment services such as PayPal and Square, or companies like crypto exchange Coinbase, which began publicly, publicly trading in April. This is what they're saying, people. So, you know, they, they, they want their piece too. In another sign of increasing Bitcoin adoption, JP Morgan is preparing to offer an, an actively managed Bitcoin fund. So that's going back to my first news with the hedge fund managers. So JP Morgan are going to offer, right, the same similar thing to their rich clientele. And it's funny because back in 2018, JP Morgan, the head, Jamin Di um, Jamin, no, Di J Jamin Diamond, or I can't, I can't remember his name, man. He, his name slipped my mind, right? But basically, the head of JP Morgan came out and said, if any one of, of his employees deal with Bitcoin, they're going to get fired. Jamie Dimon, that's it. Jamie Dimon, right? He was fudding Bitcoin. He said, ah, blockchain is all right. But that Bitcoin thing, it's a no-no. It's a no-no. And now look at them. These people are liars, man. They, they speak with fork friggin' tongue, people. You can't trust them. You can't trust them. They say one thing, and behind closed doors, they're doing another. Ah, oh, man. Come on, man. <sighs> anyway. So, they're offering this to its private wealth clients for the first time. You hear that? Private wealth clients. Right? Not rich clients. Wealthy clients. Because there's a difference between wealthy and rich. I'm telling you that right now. Anyway, that's that. Now look at the, these, these other articles. Dogecoin, 80 billion valuation now makes it bigger than these 10 well-known companies. Doge is just smashing it out of the ballpark. Ethereum co-creator, co Vitalik Buterin. The nerds of nerds. I, I, I like Vitalik still, but he's a right nerd. And I like nerds. I ain't got time. I ain't got a problem with nerds. It's all good. Nerds create some real innovative products like Vitalik, you know. So now he's one. He's now the world's youngest crypto billionaire. I mean, Ether's 350% year to date surge, people. The youngest billionaire. She's gone, Vitalik, man. Smash it out of the ballpark. Anyway, that's that. That is that. Let's see what Cointelegraph is saying today. Unilayer, the Swiss army knife of DeFi, is expanding its ecosystem, people. Right, let's have a look at this, this token called Unilayer. Unilayer is a multi-chain decentralized trading platform built on top of the Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain and HECO and Polkadot. Now, let me stop right there. For those people that don't know what HECO is, it is Huobi's own smart chain, people. It's own blockchain. That's right. Huobi are coming out or um, have their own blockchain as well. And they're going to be launching projects 
on top of their blockchain people this is real this is absolutely real and by the way blockchain qt's universe play to earn another multi blockchain crypt collectible game play now that's another story anyway so that enables key features for the professional lever level trading with its layer utility token focusing on automated swaps stop limit orders staking yield farming charts and analytics live order books and much more so this is talking about the layer token right and let's in fact let's go and see what's happening with unilayer let's see when and how unilayer came on to the scene let's have a look one second this is coin market cap for any of you newbies to the channel welcome b fam here your guest your servant i'm trying to serve the best jews i can anyway right now unilay is two dollars fifty up two percent today and it came out in september 2020 at around 29 cents and now we are booming it went up to doo -doo -doo -doo. $3.93 is all time high and now we are just floating a little bit below that so hey people don't say BFAM don't give me the jewels don't say BFAM don't dig out these jewels in the altcoin forest for you anyway what is what is the layer token let's find out the layer token is the native utility token that powers the unilayer ecosystem most of the functions within the layer unilayer platform reward layer holders for staking their tokens within the platform this is a common theme that will continue along with the expansion of the platform bringing further utility to the layer token as new features are introduced people people great use case great use case the layer token comes with a lot of added utility that seamlessly integrates with the unilayer platform here are some of the added utility the sorry here are, are some of the added utility the layer token offers so first of all staking rewards for all layer holders 92 percent of fees from all order trades on the platform are distributed to layer stakers platform fees are 0 0.2 per trade Stakers receive layer X for staking their layer. 40,000 max supply governance token for Unilayer. 1% of launchpad fees are distributed to stakers in the form of ETH. Wow. So you're getting ETH as well for staking. As oh Man. Make a swap, which is in brackets H-E-C-O, staking and farming. Layer stakers earn fees from limit orders on other chains people now unilayer has recently announced the launch of its own automated market maker going back to amm and yield farming platform maker swap based on the up and coming new blockchain pay attention people pay attention new blockchain who will be eco chain right h e c o who will be eco chain people that launched its mainnet version in December 2020. So as you can see, this is just this is hot off the press, right? It hasn't been around for long. And they're gonna get more and more projects on the Huobi Eco Chain. Now, for those people that don't know who and what is Huobi, Huobi is another exchange similar to Binance, similar to Qcoin, etc. out there. It's been in the market in fact longer than Binance and Binance came after Huobi right I think Huobi has been around since 2015 and but it did not have a token it only Huobi token only came out I think it was 2018 right that's when it they had a token connected with the platform so you're very early so Makerswap has the potential to be the next pancake swap of who will be eco chain people so keep your eyes looking out for make key swap which is on 
the Huobi Eco Chain people, I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled for that. Because if, if Pancake Swap is anything to go by, and Make a Swap comes out, and it does anything like Pancake Swap, it's some crazy figures, baby. It's some crazy figures, people. Crazy, crazy numbers, depending on the price it comes out at. But regardless, it's going to do some crazy numbers. Because, as I said, this space ain't going nowhere. We're just getting started. Party's just getting bubbly. Anyway, so this is all the features on the Unilayer ecosystem. And, in fact, doo -doo -doo -doo, let's type in Huobi's ecosystem platform. Let's, let's have a look. H-E-C-O. Let's just see something. One second, people. Let's have a little... H E C Right, here we go. What's this? H E C O five. Click on that. And it's zero point zero four cent. Right? As you can see, he will be H E C O people. It's on the He will be chain. It's on the He will be smart chain people. Eco chain. Right? So this is H F I. This is not this is not the actual um token but this is a different token that's on the huobi eco eco chain right and it's a amm i think it is let me have a look one second one second just load up load up come on internet come on internet we've got people waiting out here you know people are impatient come on load up load up load up load up load up right yeah this is definitely huobi right it always starts off in chinese man Jeez, come on, man. I'm in England, mate. All right? <laughs> I'm only joking. All right. Right. The most secure and efficient yield optimate, optimizer on HECO. So as you can see, this is running on the Huobi Eco Chain platform blockchain. Now you can provide liquidity with these different peers. So you can do HT. Right, who will be token with this HFI token or Aave with the same token, Uni with the same token, HPT with the same token. So basically, you've got to put 50 50 of each token on the platform and you will earn 16.4% on that, 18.58 on that, 14% on that, 24 on that, 10%, 143. Jeez. Oh my days, USDT, 27%, yeah? So if you provide some USDT and HFI token, 50-50 equal amount, say 1,000 each, or 10,000, 10,000 each, you earn 27%, right? Plus, you're going to get, as the LP token, you're going to get paid out in LP token as well, so people, I mean, Litecoin five percent. I mean, man, I get five percent on on our Nexo. Jeez. Anyway, Efa thirteen percent. Not too bad. Not too bad. So as you can see, people, these AMMs can earn you some serious passive income in your sleep. That's why I love crypto, man. That's what I'm trying to say. These hedge funds, we don't need them. We don't need them. Fifty four percent. Why? When I can go to HFI dot one and provide some liquidity and i can earn even they even got doge four percent i can earn you know 62 percent for that one or link 33 percent snx 33 percent it's like come on really we don't need them mdx 143 percent blows them out the water hedge fund managers we don't need you i think you're going to be out of a job soon man really really you're going to be out of a job soon man because in years to come, your head's going to get cut off, mate. Anyway, what else is going on with the news out here? What else is going on? I'll tell you what's going on out here, people. Chale. Chale, Chale, Chale. If you don't know who Chale is, I'm talking about Charlie Munger. Or I would say, I should say, Charlie Mug. Because <laughs> this guy, this old white guy, who's, got, who's been around since the, since, since the dawn of the planet, uh, he's been around when money was invented. Him and Warren Buffett, they got more money than money, right? And this guy hates Bitcoin. He, look, 
manga chali chale chale manga hates bitcoin rise it calls it disgusting and contrary to interest of civilization <laughs> oh my days is this guy real is he is he serious berkshire vice chairman says cryptos useful to kidnappers and extortionists now this is the sort of crap you're gonna get out there sometimes people from these old some of these old white guys and no disrespect to my white or caucasian listeners to ether line tv you know i know some of you because some of you are my clients so you know it's no there's no race no one is a race in racism but i'm just telling you how it is with this guy he's old he's white he's got dough right he he ain't into tech he ain't into technologies obviously the guy i don't know it's like bitcoin has done him something bitcoin <sighs> look charlie charlie my boy it's only cold you hate numbers you hate maths then if, if that's the case give me your money in it give me your money if you hate if you hate numbers so much give me all your money in it you know so it, it's crazy it's crazy i mean let's listen to what he says let's listen let's just listen to what he says a quick a quick video well those who know me well are just waving the red flag of the bull <laughs> of course i hate the bitcoin success and i don't welcome a currency that's so useful and to kidnappers and extortionists and so forth nor do I like just shuffling out a few extra billions and billions and billions of dollars to somebody who just invented a new financial product out of thin air. Let me pause that right there. He hates Bitcoin success. Why? Why? I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's benefiting people, right? It's benefiting people worldwide. I don't get it, Charlie. And it's being created out of thin air. Well, is it everything created out of thin air, people? Uh, uh, have I missed? Have I missed something? Everything we see in existence in this physical three-dimensional world has come out of somebody's mind, right? Isn't that a thin air? Isn't it? Uh, have I missed something, people? Please, I mean, somebody hit me up in the comments and and and, and please let B fam know if I've if I've mistaken if I've made a mistake. God, I, I don't get it. I don't get it, people. These old guys. Has been around since the send since nine hundred. He's ninety seven. He's been around for nearly a hundred years, right? It, what's wrong? What's his problem? He hates Bitcoin. But but have you got enough money? What's the problem, man? Why are you hating on that, man? Jeez. Anyway, let's continue. So, I think I should say modestly that I think the whole damn development is disgusting and contrary to the interests of civilization. And I'll let, leave the criticism to others. <laughs> I'm all right on that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, his brethren there, Warren Buffett, right? Warren the Buff, right? He's called, in the past, he, he called Bitcoin rat poison squared. Now, <laughs> now really? Rat poison squared? Uh, I, I don't even... I, I can't even fa what does that mean? What does that mean, people? How can you call something that you can't see, touch, or smell rat poison squid? It's like it's like Bitcoin has done something to them. Has, what has Bitcoin like punched them in their face? Say, like, yo, you little old guys, I'm here to stay, and they got offended or something. I, I just don't get it. But hey, what? This is old money, right? Old money. Is about to get your ass torn apart right now in this new decentralized world, people, right? So these guys, they Warren Buffett is renowned as saying that he doesn't like, you know, certain tech. But I guarantee, somewhere along the line, one of his subsidiaries have, has invested in tech somewhere along the line. And probably even Bitcoin. But they give this misinformation out there to... To, to, to sway people man it's it's just ridiculous i don't know what i don't know i don't know what what's their problem people i just don't get it man i really don't get it but that's that also i wanted to show you give you a heads up on 
earn your leisure if you don't know who earn your leisure is these guys are doing some great things right go and check out their channel and they've got an interview with jim jones from dipset yeah for those people who are into hip-hop and rap jim jones Drew santana cameron dipset dipset yeah anyway go and check it out jim jones is breaking down certain things about ethereum um nfts etc he's just got into the game a year back according to what he's saying on this video and it's a great it's it's, it's a good interview it's, it really is a good interview um they've done a, this i think they've done a few interviews with him still about it still but they've gone a bit more in depth with it so check out their channel these guys are doing great things they talk about all types of investments be it the stocks and shares, um, property, all types of stuff. They have great interviews coming on there. Great source of learning, people. So go and check them out. Subscribe to their channel. Do your thing, yeah? Nice Jews, proper Jews for your bags. Also, go and check out this guy, Mr. Raul Pal, right? From this video. Introduction to the ex exponential age right and i'm telling you right now this guy i've been checking him out since 2018 he is one of those traditional guys that gets it he totally gets it hands down right and from his perspective this is from his words he he's saying he has never seen anything like this in all of his investing career people yeah he ain't seen nothing like this cryptocurrency market nothing like this it's just it's beyond it's beyond it's as he says exponential and most people don't think in terms of exponential they can't even fathom what it means right most people don't know what it means right just look it up go on duck duck go it or google it or whatever right but check out this video it's a great video it's giving you a macro perspective on the cryptocurrency market where it's going over this next decade or two people as b fam your brother has always said you guys are early to the party the majority of, of people on the planet have not got a clue what's about to hit them in the next five to ten years it's like a juggernaut train unstoppable right so please go and check that out still and also you know make sure you like my video subscribe to the channel check out my previous previous videos click the no notification bell so when i do do a video you get notified make sure you share it with your friends and family check out all the links in my description right some of them you get a little kickback you get a little bonus if you sign up through my links some of them you don't but it's all good you are here early i'm glad you're with me on this journey because we're going to help each other learn grow and earn so another thing is any comments any questions that you have please write in the comments and i'll do my best to address it if i can answer it i'll do that if not i'll do my best to direct you in the right place where you can find out the answer and also give me some suggestions of what sort of videos what sort of topics do you want me to talk about i'll gladly take that on board and do my best to provide for my fellow ethereans out there so i hope you enjoyed the video right now i'm gonna jump in my bed because right now over here in london it's kind of late right now it's after 12 o'clock midnight but hey i'm kind of a night owl man in fact i'm a, I'm a day person I'm a, I'm a night person i'm i'm an old person right so anyway do your thing i hope you had a great week i hope you had a great day and what a great what a day and time to be alive people i tell you now what a day and time to be alive oh my days anyway B fam, I gotta love you, I gotta leave you. I better keep my voice down before my girl come down and tell me, yo, you doing those videos again? Ah. 
anyway peace and love